For the first part of analysis, the part foundations, we need to know the point bearing capacity. As I mentioned before, sometimes we call it as a point bearing, sometimes we call it as an end bearing, and also sometimes we consider it as a tip bearing capacity. Where it happens is at the base of pile foundation. Okay, it's happened here. QP, or sometimes we call it as a QB, or QP, or QUB. Here, okay, there is the QP, and bearing, tip, or point bearing. Okay, in calculating the point bearing capacity, uh, we have two conditions of soil. We have a cohesive, and also we, or, or also we have a cohesionless soil. Okay? So, <clears throat> the first part in this uh, analysis, in determining the end bearing, we consider on the sand. Okay. In sand calculations, uh, we will cover on the equation that developed by Mihoff, verse 6, and also the Castello. Okay. We have Mihoff, verse 6, and Coyle and Castello. Okay. This is... Uh, Okay, so this is the Q ultimate. So in order to get the Q ultimate, we will have a QP and also the QS here. In calculating the QP and QS, we have a uh, two uh, division. We have a sand and also we have a clay here. In order to determine the sand, we will use Mihoff, verse 6, and Cole and Castello. Meanwhile, for clay, we only have Mihoff and also verse 6. Okay, uh, we hide first the shaft result. So, we cover on the QP first. Okay? Here is the first equation or method can you use in determining the QP of sand. Okay, you can use the Mayhoff equation. Okay, let's say we have a pile here and then we have a sand here. So, we will have a QS here and also the QP here. So, our target in this uh, slide, we need to determine the QP here. Okay, so the general equation is using the QP is equal to AP times 2 QP. What is the AP? There is the area of pile. Okay, if you are using the circular, so you need to have a D. If you are using the uh, square or rectangular, it can be W times 2B. Okay? And then, uh, for the next step is, you need to check either your QP, AP times 2QP, fulfill the requirement or not. Okay? You need to check AP times 2Q prime times 2 N star Q should be equal to AP to QP. Then, before that, you also need to make sure it should be less or equal to AP times 2 QL. Okay, so you know the AP and Q prime. Before that, how to get the QP? There is a short, uh, soil pressure. It's gamma times 2 DF. Okay, so in this one, the variable is the unknown value for n star q can be determined in this step 3. You have option 1 and option 2. If you are given the soil friction angle, the, delta, uh, the phi value, you can directly get the n star q here. Okay. So, if you are using the 20 
0.5, so you need to interpolate. Okay, let's say you have a 22, so your N star Q is equal to 15.5. Meanwhile, for the next option is, the second option is, if in the equations you are using the table, uh, you are using the graph, given the graph, so you have a soil friction angle here, let's say 20, let's say there is a 25, you go upstairs there, and then you get the N star Q here around 20 to 25 okay let's say 25 uh, okay it uh, almost similar to a uh, graph and also uh, the table okay there is the step in determination of n star q okay don't forget we have a unknown value here QL. What is the QL? The QL is the distance between 0 point to the fixed point here. This is the QL. Okay. How to get the QL? This is the equation to determine the QL. 0 0.5 times 2PA, atmospheric pressure, 100. N star Q, you obtain from the step 3 and also the tangent theta. Okay, and then just substitute the value. You can determine the QP here. Finish for Mayhoff, Mayhoff method for uh, sand condition. Second method in determining the QP and bearing in the sand using the Versic method or Versic equation. Okay, as you can see here, there is the general equation for determining the QP, AP times to the QP. As mentioned before, AP is our area of pile and QP is delta times to gamma times to the DF where DF is our pile length. Okay, and here is the equations that proposed by Versic. AP times to sigma prime naught times to n star sigma. Which is the sigma is the mean effective normal ground stress at the pile point location. Okay. And how to determine the average of sigma? You can using the equation of. 1 plus 2k naught divided by 3 times 2 q prime, which is the k naught you can determine by 1 minus sine theta. Okay, after that, you know the AP, you know the sigma value, and also you need to have the value of n, sig n sigma star. How to get the N sigma star? You need to proceed for the next step. Step number two. In determining the N star sigma, you have two options. Either you can using this equation. Okay, you can use this equation. Or another option is using the table. Table here. Okay. So, in using the option number one, you need to have the N star Q which is the N star Q can be determined from this table. You know the soil friction angle and you can simplify get the N star Q. And the K naught, as I mentioned before, is equal to 1 minus sine theta. K1 minus sine theta. Another option to determine the N star sigma is using the table given. Okay. If in the equation give you the value of IRR, okay, so the IRR is the value for reduced rigidity index for the soil. Okay, if you are get the value of IRR, rigidity index, so you can refer this type of table. 
you check the theta value and you get the IRR. Let's say uh, you have a theta 26 and then your IRR is 40. So you can get the value of N, sti N star sigma is equal to 23.15. Okay. So, 23.15. If the value of IRR is not given, you need to proceed to step 3. Okay, which is in the step 3, you need to refer this equation. IR divided by 1 plus IR delta. In determine the IR, IR which is the IR is rigidity index. Okay, you can refer to option 1, option 2, and option 3. Okay, so let's say uh, we are given the value of IRR, so we can skip this step. So, you just substitute the value that you, give, you, that you calculate previous, so you can get the QP for sand using the 6. Okay, later we will uh, discuss on determining the IRR when we need to calculate the IR using option 1, 2 and 3. Okay, remember uh, before this I explained to you how to determine uh, the IRR. If you are given the IRR value, you can directly get the value N star sigma. But if the IRR value or reduced rigidity index is not given to you, you need to use this equation to determine the IRR. So in determining the IRR, you need to have the IR value, which is the IR value can be obtained by three options. Okay. For this one is option number one using the equation. Okay, IR is equal to ES divided by 2 times to 1 plus my, uh, mu S times to Q prime tangent theta prime. Or equal to GS divided by Q prime tangent theta. Okay. The E is equal to modulus elasticity and G is equal to shear modulus. Mu is poison ratio and the delta is average volumetric strain. The delta value can be determined using this equation. 0 0.005 times to 1 minus theta minus 25 divided by 20. Q prime divided by atmospheric pressure. Okay, in determining the ES. Okay, ES divided by PA equal to M. Okay, ES, uh, PA is our 100, okay, atmospheric pressure. M uh, equal to the condition, okay. So, since we know uh, in the statement of the equation, it can be loose soil, medium dense soil, dense soil. So, there is the average given 100 to 200, 200 to 500, 500 to 1000. You can use average value. Let's say for loose soil, 100 to 200, you can use value of 150. So, you can put 150 and then this 100. So, your ES is equal to 100, 150 times 200. Okay, so uh, another one is to determine the poison ratio. You can use these equations to determine the poison ratio, which is the theta should be less than or equal to 45 and greater than 25 degree. Okay, uh, then you get the IR value here. You substitute the IR value. And the delta, you can determine from equations, you get the delta. So, you can get the IR value. Okay, the second option in determining the IR here, using the table given. Okay, the delta same goes to uh, the first option. 
you can use the equations and the IR can be determined from this table. Let's say uh, the, ta uh, the equation give you the value of dr, okay, dr, or relative density, 50% to 80%, you consider it same, and you can get the IR value is in between 75 to 150, okay, so you can do the interpolations, 75 is 50%, so the 80% is 150, let's say, the dr the relative density for sand is 70 percent you can interpolate the 70 percent here to get the ir value okay same goes to silk you can use the average value the lowest value or the uppest value okay there is this option number two okay and this one is the option number three to determine the ir here okay yeah, this option, you can use the cone penetration factor that given in the equation. It can be divided into two types, mechanical and also the electrical. So, the IR is equal to 300 divided by FR. So, you can determine the FR here using this equation for mechanical and also this equation for electrical. So, what is D50? D50 is the size of 50% of soil path through uh, in the, the last method that will be covered in this subject, in the syllabus, uh, in determining the QP for sand, in the sand, uh, we are using the coil and castello method. It's a very simple method uh, among uh, these three methods that you learn in this syllabus which is the QP is equal to Q prime times to N star Q times to AP, which is the Q prime, there is our delta to DF, there is our pi length, remember, there is our pi length, and AP is our area of pi, remember, if you are using the circular, it can be pi d squared divided by 4, if square uh, is equal to beta 2 w okay and the unknown for this equation is n star q how to get the n star q uh, it can be determined using this graph okay there is your n star q that you need to know all right uh in this uh, y-axis there is the embedment ratio l over d means that the pi length over the diameter okay so what is your pi length and also the diameter of pi you need to have the ratio here let's say you have 20 and then you go through here let's say your theta is 30 so, this is your 30. How to read the graph? This is yours. And then, you follow the trend line here. So, your 20, uh, your n, n star Q is equal to around 23. Okay? So let's say your uh, theta is equal to 31 in between here. Okay, the 31 here in between. So you follow the trend line to get your N star Q. Okay, that's all for equation involved or method involved in determining the end bearing of pile tip in sand type condition okay